aren't we? Have a look at this, eh? This is what you do with an old wheelbarrow. Actually, this wheelbarrow is probably better than some of the new ones that I've had. <laughs> but, you know, it's, it's got a nice feature. It's been around, it's done a lot of concrete work in its time. And this is some of the parsley that I transplanted from the veggie garden when I was uh, expanding them. I didn't want to chuck them out, didn't have the heart. So a bit of composted soil, a few holes in the bottom of the barrow. Uh, we wanted to drain properly and uh, plant them straight away. And obviously a couple of bursts of eco boost. Look how green they are. Really, really green. Beautiful. Now, what I want to do here is plant out some strawberries. Now, if you've got strawberries in your garden for more than a year, no doubt they'll be running out. They'll be putting out some little paper uh, pups, we call them, little runners. Now, they're the ones you want to transplant because the original strawberry plant itself, if you leave it as it is, yeah, it'll keep growing, but it may not be as productive as the new one. So let's go over there. Let me transplant some little ones and show you what they look like. And we're going to bring them back here and plant them into the wheelbarrow. This is a bed we have mentioned last time. I'm not sure how many days ago it was that I've got to fix this lemon tree because it's gone yellow, completely yellow, and I haven't attacked it yet. I'm going to seek out some of these plants, especially the strawberry plants, before I add the compost and my liquid fertilizer. And we are going to monitor it and see how it adapts and see if it, if it does work. You know, I talk about EcoBoost and Liquid Gold all the time. You're going to wonder, does the stuff really work? Well, let's do some trials on this. It works on healthy plants. Does it work on sick plants? And that's going to be the next trial we'll do. But in the meantime, have a look at this. This is what I'm looking for. All these runners, see that? That's a little pup. There's another one there. They're the ones you want to transplant. You want to take these out, uh, take them away from the mother plant, which is the main plant down here. And have a look at these. See these here? You plant that in the ground. Wait, let's get rid of all this. We don't need the runner. We've got one over here. We've got another one over here. It's like potatoes. You plant a potato, you get lots of them at the end. And that's what we've got. We've got a little plant here. There's one little strawberry plant. Here's another one. And that's just from one runner. And this has multiplied over the last year or two. And I haven't divided it, admittedly, because I'm not everywhere at once, and I wish I could, could be. If I had a twin, it would be fantastic, eh? Imagine two of your sillies running around. <laughs> no, thanks. Wipe that out of, your, out of your mind. So I'm going to grab a few more of these and take them back to the uh, wheelbarrow. Clean them up a little bit. This one. This one had taken root. This is what it looks like when it takes root. Have a look at that. It's got roots. I couldn't resist that to take this one out looking really healthy. So that's going to go in here too. I'm going to plant it around the parsley and hopefully we'll get more pups coming on and they'll cascade over the side. And we're keeping it off the ground so no, snail, no snails or slugs to get to them. And we should be really happy be able to pick some fresh strawberries. After all, the new ones are the ones where you get the best strawberries from. So, look at this soil, nice and soft, and all the beautiful rain we've had. Just drop that in there, carefully, like that. Just push the soil gently around it. And we just do that all the way around. Drop another one in there, like that. Okay, let's see other ones. Pretty tough plants they are, they won't be competing that hard against this parsley. What do I do with the rest? I had at least six in my hands. I've got one, two, three, four. Oh, bugger. <laughs> okay, thanks mate. I'm glad somebody's watching. <laughs> My videographer doubles up as a, uh, a, a, a Vistler, a pointer. <laughs> it's funny as. And there you go, folks. So if you've got strawberry in your garden or strawberry plants growing in your garden, make sure you divide them, get the pups out and transplant them into small pots. Keep them elevated off the ground, keeps them away from the snails. But if you've got them running on the ground, as I have in there, out of control, get lots of moles down because the fruit itself, you don't want that sitting on soil because you can't clean it once you harvest to eat. And don't forget to water them with some EcoBoost and liquid gold. From Eva Silly, Maresi. Maresi.